Sitting in a spacious living room, all seem well for the 75-year-old Oma Elizabeth Kuhlmann, a resident of Eimablachte since birth. Kuhlmann lives with 16 grandchildren on top of a number of adults. Not all of the residents work and the only steady source of income is her pension, which she complements with homemade ice lollies sold at one dollar each. Despite her age, the pensioner renews her hopes by voting in all political elections for an improved living standard and development, including last month's regional council and local authority elections. But the pace of development at the town leaves much to be desired, she says. There is no development in the town, nothing from the municipality and the council. The unemployment rate remains high. Though commending the governor of the region on behalf of those who received land occupancy certificates at the start of November, the senior citizen says that a bit more can be done by the newly elected regional leadership to keep the youth off the streets. If they could come up with initiatives for the youth like a swimming pool or other recreational facilities, after school, our kids are just on the streets. Another pensioner, Johanna Van Weyck, is dismayed by how the elderly are treated by the Mariental municipality, especially on the provision of essential services. We have a big problem at the municipality. They refuse to assist you, even if short as little as 30 or 12 dollars. They just cut off your water or electricity. At least for now, due to COVID, we have free water. Van Weyck, who earns a pension of $1,300, says her water bill would at times reach over $1,600. She lives with her husband and two grandchildren. Paulus Ngiwilepo, the CEO of Marindal, responded to the concerns of Van Weyck. There must be a misunderstanding somewhere. Because for $26, we cannot turn away a senior citizen for, for such a small amount. In terms of the elderly, we, we give them an extended period of repayment for their area accounts. We, do, we don't charge interest on the area accounts. We are also now working on, on, on coming up with a special tariff in terms of water and electricity for senior citizens. Ngiwilepo also addressed the question of lack of recreational facilities there. We, we have a netball court where where netball goes where they can also play uh, netball, volleyball, uh, with, um, uh, no, basketball, I mean, netball and basketball. And then we've made provision for, for the old, old tennis club. He adds that the municipality had constructed play parks in various locations at the town, but which were no longer there owing to vandalism. The CEO further says that his office has received and is considering a request for the construction of a public swimming pool. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Marienthal.